Let's see. TDE President Punch uh, talks about Kendrick Lamar and he's going to talk about Drake too. So let's get his reaction on TDE President Punch talking about the current situation of, uh, you know, Drake and uh, Kendrick Lamar. Yo, yo, did y'all see this, this, bro? So... I don't know how I missed this. So TD Punch popped out recently and told a story. He didn't call any names, but he vertically affirmed to everyone that he was there for the um, control situation where Diddy supposedly put hands on, on, on um, J. Cole. But we always heard the story as J. Cole was defending Kendrick because Kendrick was the person who wrapped the lines like, yo, I'm, uh, I'm, I have the both coasts in one hand. I'm juggling them both. I'm the king of New York, whatever, whatever, whatever. And people are like, yo, why is he talking about he's the king of New York? So again, that's kind of always what it's been. However, um, it appears that T.D. Punch went on a podcast and they asked him to tell some unnamed story where he didn't have to call names. And he told a story that seems to be aligned with control. And now people have been like, yo, bro, like you, you just told the whole story. Anyway, this is what was um, told. Here we go. You know, very important part of the show. Mm -hmm. He tells a story. Funny or fucked up. Okay. Or funny and fucked up. All right. The only rule to the game. You don't say no names. Oh. That's crazy. <laughs> as, soon as, as soon as I explained it, this shit start popping in your head. Like, yeah, yeah, nah, I can't tell that. that. <laughs> but yeah, you know, that's, that's the only rule. You know, you can say, you know, where you was at, always in Miami, always in London. We, I mean, because we know, you know, you've been everywhere in the world. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> RB take you places. Yeah, yeah. I like that. RB take you places. <laughs> Jesus so, yeah. Christ. Tell us, tell us a good story, man. They got to be RB related? No, 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 no. no. So he's going right. to tell the story of control from his perspective. <laughs> that's going to sound crazy with no names. There's a bunch of people involved. I y'all would know their names. I'm sure. All right, so, bet. So the homie just did this song, right? Control. Pissed the gang of people off. Everybody was mad at it. So we, uh, when the song came out, he was overseas. Then he came back to the States. The first place we stopped in was New York City. And the first thing we do is say, let's go to the club, because we wanted to check the temperature. See what everybody was on. Yeah, <laughs> LA stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we get to the club. So one of the homies approached us and talking about this particular record. So we're going back and forth. Oh, it's not personal. It's just this, this, and that. It's cool. Whatever, whatever. It's like we playing basketball. I'm gonna try to beat you. You trying to beat me? And we we good after. Like, yeah, okay, cool. Competition. Sound like competition. Competition. Yeah. Friendly fade, if you will. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Another one of the homies walk up. He a little drunk. <laughs> He said, yeah, y'all niggas, y'all need to uh, just go back and forth with and keep it on wax or whatever, whatever, whatever. So the two dudes who approached, they get into a little back and forth, a little argument. With each other? With each other now. Okay. Because we, what we didn't know is they had got an argument before we got there. <laughs> so he was kind of continuing it. So, okay, things settled and we go to the VIP. It's a scuffle now, a huge scuffle. So I thought, this is weird with no names. But another nigga came who was best friends with one of the super celebrities I was over there. He came and started beating up one of the niggas that was on the ground. So it's kind of clearing up and he grabbed the nigga, put him close and seen who it was. And this dude was signed to his <laughs> his homie. But he couldn't see, he didn't see, he had his glasses on. So he mopped him and looked like he felt so bad after the whole thing. He was signed to him? He was signed to this dude who was, who was going at him and his partner. His partner came to jump in. Because <laughs> he thought they was going at his man. Yeah. So whole couple break down, they get them out the club. A table was back set up in like less than 60 seconds. <laughs> Like it never happened. Like it never happened, bro. <laughs> Yo, anyway, fuck the story, man. Yo, TD Punch, man, I do got some questions for you, brother, because you told the scripted story. We know the players involved and we know what happened. So basically, you're saying that you, um, the TD homies, are at a party where J. Cole is at and Kendrick's at and Diddy's at. J. Cole is standing up for, for Kendrick's honor, gets the brakes beat off him by Diddy. And it's kind of interesting that Kendrick has always said, oh, yo, you know, like even with the shit with Drake, he's saying, yo, you, you owe, or it's crazy how you did Cole. Well, who did Cole the worst? J. Cole got an ass whipping because you chose to diss niggas on a song that you weren't standing behind because apparently I have three sources of three different rappers who pulled up on you and say, yo, what's up with that song, Control? That apparently you were like all giggles and be like, nah, we just rapping. It was never on some, oh, I'm snatching chains and burning tattoos. None of that. It was. So according to academics right now, keep in mind, we are talking about the OV whole president. He's on this smear campaign of trying to make Kendrick Lamar seem like a punk, basically. So, you know, he's the spin master. He's the DJ. He, he is a real DJ. He ain't DJ academics because he played music because he spin narratives. Right. So he's just, you know, doing what he's doing best, trying to make Drake look better. You know, trying to make Kendrick look a certain way and trying to, you know, make make Drake look 
a certain type of way. So once again, this goes to the song that Kendrick Lamar just made. You got media personalities, you got radio podcasters spewing these lies, pushing propaganda, running these false narratives just to get a favor from their favorite celebrity. Yeah, this is kind of what Kendrick was talking about in that song. Yeah, so let's listen. Once again, Kendrick is right. Which is not just fun, it's a friendly competition. So I'm just wondering, if we're talking about people who didn't stick up for who, and again, I'm down to figure out, you know, if Drake slammed out Cole and, and it was some slimy shit, we'll call Drake out too, don't you worry. But I'm wondering why, I'm wondering why Kendrick never take no type of credit for or take any type of blame for. J. Cole called an ass whipping nigga from the diddler for you. He didn't say he was a king of New York. One hand, I'm juggling them both. He never say that. He started defending you. So you guys asked what for that. It's clear that your men punches talking about it. They laughing. Not one of them spun for J. Cole. But the ratio from celebrity to regular person was like 70, 30, maybe. So every section was like full of celebrities. Yeah. You know what I mean, music people move. Chat, my comprehension is, is, is accurate because everybody done heard the story in the industry. Here's the story. J. Cole got his ass whipped for Kendrick. J. Cole didn't diss. Yo, all right, he's telling this story cryptically. This is the story everybody done heard in the industry. Basically, Diddy's drunk. Diddy told these niggas, yo, bro, yo, I don't know what's up with these newer rappers, but yo, y'all niggas can't be talking about you the king of New York. Like, that's what Diddy was saying. Diddy's from New York. Diddy was checking that. Remember, I mean, Punch is basically saying they went to New York. It's not like Diddy was in an LA club. Of course, Diddy gonna feel like he's that nigga that could talk like that in New York. Yo, yo, I'm just keeping up with you. All that shit you talking about, Playboy, talking about you the king of New York, that ain't that ain't fine. I don't know what these newer rappers doing, but fuck that. Feel what I'm saying? Kendrick ain't like that in person, clearly. Cause Kendrick don't step to Diddy. By the way, if Kendrick stepped to Diddy, he got slapped too. Like, bro, Diddy was slapping everybody. Stop it. Like, like, I'm not even talking crazy. I'm just saying, Diddy slap everybody. <laughs> Come on, Diddy's on timing. J. Cole is the nigga who started having a conversation with Diddy and get the brakes beat off of him. Now, niggas say that J. Cole was trying to be on time in the parking lot. Man, when niggas trying to hit no parking lot, Diddy was slapping niggas, bro. Facts. Wait, wait, wait. So, how many of y'all think this is cap? Now, once again, we're talking about DJ Academics. So, he's saying that J. Cole got tried to step up for, for Kendrick Lamar because Kendrick Lamar didn't want to smoke. Y'all let me know. Do y'all believe this story? Mm, I don't know. Who knows? But, once again, this is coming from the spin master himself, DJ Academics. I see a lot of caps in the chat, a lot of caps, smear campaign. Y'all think this is a smear campaign, pushing the agenda, propaganda, all that bullshit. I see a lot of caps in the chat, and a lot of caps, a lot of caps. DJ Capademics, huh? Here's my thing. J. Cole didn't get slapped on his own recognizance. He got slapped for another man. Real talk. It's a fact. Movie people, whatever. I think it's like it's like it never it existed. Please. They were prepared for that. Oh man, that happened in there before. That was, my, that was my favorite like night music. No dust up. No dust up. Right. Keep the party going. That's what a song can do. Yeah. Right. Yo, and by the way, I'm talking. Yo, listen, I got niggas on the text. I can show. Well, I ain't gonna show you. I only show my This is when niggas is texting me. They're like, bro, I ain't gonna lie. This is true. Kendrick allegedly or his people watches J Cole get beat up for Kendrick's issue. They don't do nothing. Uh, uh later, basically. Then keep like almost sneak this in later on. Then compliments a years later, and everything's supposed to be cool. Yeah, not gonna lie, that's that's, that's some type of weirdo shit. Come on, we gotta be honest, bro. Now, no, y'all gonna be like, yo, act, yo, yo, Kendrick's hip hop Jesus. We, we don't give a fuck. That's just weird. Now, I think Kendrick, uh, I think J Cole's completely cucked. Like, you know, again, we were talking about a nigga who Drake used to give like side chick hugs to every night on stage, and he was perfectly fine with it. So like, he has a problem. But the, the reality of what I'm saying is that J Cole got beat up for Kendrick's issue. Damn. Kendrick didn't bust a great beautiful fight, and then afterwards. Essentially, this um, this J Cole when J Cole got his ass before, and then later came around to try to get on his good side, and then basically blame Drake. It's crazy. Damn. So, like I said, this is for y'all to uh, determine. What do I think? I don't know. Who knows? Could be true. Could be wrong. I don't know. I wasn't there. Shit. I don't. I don't know the details, the ins and outs of, of this stuff. You know. Who knows? <laughs> you create a little dust up. You can create a little dust up. Yeah, absolutely. Chat, that's how weird to y'all. If I just a nigga and my mutual friend who's pussy as hell, like, I mean, the nigga literally dropped this track and apologized before the shit even hit this piece. He apologized. I'm sorry, y'all. Please forgive me. That's what he did. You don't think it's weird if I did somebody, my friend who's mad pussy, gets beat up for it? I don't even end up being a nigga who this is that nigga. Matter of fact, I, I low key this J. Cole later. And then only after I get into a drink, I start compliment. Whatever. All right, y'all got it. No. Oh no, it was good money. Yeah, yeah. Let so me focus back on you. <laughs> yeah. So that that was a J Cole beat down. I think somebody else got it. Um, who else had that story? J Cole fight day. Oh, punch talked about it before. Here we go. At first, even led to the fight with Cuff and Cole. <laughs> yeah, for sure. How? In what way? 
So it was after the uh, the MTV Awards the same night. Mm-hmm. So our whole thing was, all right, let's go out to the club. We never go out to the club. But we, you know what I mean? We out here, mm-hmm. the energy is up, everybody's excited, let's go. So Jay and um, Puff was doing the, um, the dinner that they usually do. So in this whole thing, it was packed like 70, 30 celebrities. So we come in there and I guess yeah, they spoke about it, so it's cool to say now. Mm-hmm. Puff and uh, Cole was talking about the verse and they ended up getting into, you know what I mean, a little back and forth. So when we come in, Cole and Kendrick was talking about, you know what I'm saying, the verse. You know what I mean? And then when Puff came back over and they argument sparked up again. So from there, they ended up getting in a, in a whole scuffle in the club. Between J. Cole and Puff. Yeah, right. Wow. Chat, that don't seem weird as fuck to you. How the fuck does Kendrick diss New York? Diddy's mad that he diss New York. And a nigga from Fayetteville, North Carolina is squabbling with, with Jay-Z instead of, yo, it's clear punch and them West Coast niggas was there. Nigga, y'all should pack that. Well, actually, they would definitely not pack that. Not in New York. But still, so this is the craziest part about it. So you tell me that Kendrick watched J. Cole get beat up over his, over his diss to New York? And nobody, nobody questions that. That's just normal. I diss a nigga and I watch the mutual nigga, the, 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 the mutual nigga get beat up and nobody cares. Really? Yeah, shit, the hell? <laughs> if that ain't my friend, you know what I'm saying? We just cordial, shit. I mean, but if that's my homeboy, yeah, that's my homeboy. But shit, if we ain't friends, nigga, I ain't fighting for no nigga. The fuck? Hell no. Nah. If you, you want to jump out there and get your ass whooped, shit, go, you go right ahead. But uh, it just depends on the relationship, I would say. I don't know the relationship between, um, you know, Kendrick and and uh, J. Cole. You know, I don't know if it was just cordial. It was just meet and greet. I don't know if they boys. They, I don't know. But shit, if, if somebody want to crash out on the behalf of me, that don't mean I'm I'm going to jump in. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. Like, hey, yo, what's up, DJ? Man, fuck that nigga. Did that nigga go fight? I'm like, good job. Nah, I ain't about to help your ass. What the fuck? Appreciate you, but uh, I ain't actually to do that. <laughs> so I don't know what type of relationship they got. It just depends on the relationship. I don't know. But if you want to jump out the window, <laughs> go right ahead. Hope you don't bump your head too hard. <laughs> Shit, I ain't about to, hell no. So, like I said, it just depends on the relationship, all right? It depends. Okay. Again, they spoke about it, so. Yeah, I had no problem. Did you see, oh, did right, you see right, the couple? Right, yeah, I was right there. Who won? <laughs> <laughs> Take that. You know who won? Emery won. Jay-Z guy. Yeah, he broke it up. Emery thought somebody was jumping on Jay. <laughs> so he rushed over there. <laughs> He got in the middle of the thing. Yeah. And he ended up grabbing Cole like, oh, it's Cole. <laughs> oh, wow. You know what I mean? Wow. Oh, if you put that story comp- with the other story. Oh, you got to put the stories together. Watch, watch, look. Oh, and he grabbed him and put him close. Oh, so Emery thinks that Jay-Z's getting beat up. Like, you got to remember, who gives a fuck if Jay Cole and Kendrick at that time are getting beat up? Bro, you have two heavyweights in the building. Puff and Jay, right? Puff and Jay. This is a MTV VMA, like, after party. Puff and Jay in the building. Who gives a fuck about a rapper or, like, an artist? Like, that's not on that level at that time. They rush over because they think it's, 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 it's Jay in, in, the, in the melee. But it's Puff giving Jay Cole the beats. Hold that little nigga. You light-skinned motherfucker. Ride one more tricycle through my burrow, you bitch ass nigga. Like, whatever you're doing to him, you feel me? Emery goes over there, sees some shit thinking it's, oh, this nigga's trying to get at Jay. They grab the nigga that signed to Jay. Oh, because you know, you know, obviously Jay Cole signed to Jay. And seeing who it was. And this dude was signed to his. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> so Jay Cole called two ass weapons. One from Diddy and then from Jay-Z's man who thought he was, who he was an op. God damn it, Jay Cole. Yo, J. Cole, I ain't gonna lie, J. Cole gotta be Jesus, because I don't know how he apologized after that shit. You called an ass whooping for the man, and he still, you called an ass whooping for the man, went on first person shooter, told him out, yo, uh, 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 um, we the big three, like we started the league, but right, <sighs> that nigga still dish out, like, fuck the big three. Oh, uh, hell, no, I ain't gonna lie. J. Cole's a hell of a guy, bro, I ain't gonna hold you. So you talking about J. Cole and this shit? Scuffle now, huge scuffle. Damn. So, uh, this just sound weird with no names, but. Damn. Another nigga came, <laughs> who was best friends with one of the super celebrities I was over there. Emery. Jay Z, <laughs> he came and started beating up one. Of- oh, so J Cole calls two. Yo, I'm gonna be honest with you. How did yo? I'm gonna be. I don't know how. So how does Kendrick do it? How does he diss New York, party in New York, and the Fayetteville nigga get his ass whipped for his diss? Yo, this is crazy. That nigga's house on the ground. So it's kind of clearing up, and he grabbed nigga. All right, chat. Do y'all think Kendrick? I know y'all love Kendrick, and we, we, I'm just asking a question. If Kendrick made the diss. Niggas getting staticky now. Like Puff is off that puffy juice. Baby oil is oozing from his pores. <laughs> what? Baby oil is oozing from his po- What the f- Wait, what? He ready for a free call, but he ready to beat some niggas up too. <laughs> J. Cole is getting his ass whipped. Getting tossed around like tumbleweed. 
should Kendrick have squabbled up or should he just watch like clearly he did? Because we ain't here now. One motherfucker helped J. Cole. You're putting close. That's because probably nobody asked J. Cole to do it. Shit, if I didn't ask you to do it, what the fuck? You know what I mean? Hey, you know, hey, if you're going to jump out that window, it, 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 like I said, it just all depends. I don't know. I don't know the details, the intricate details, but shoot. If somebody do something on my behalf, that don't mean I'm going to join them doing it. I don't know. You, you your own man. You know what I mean? If we ain't homeboys or we ain't, you know what I mean? So I, I don't know, you know, the intricate details in this, but uh, hey, shit. Uh. Oh, and seeing who it was. And bell on the table, knocking all the drinks over. I just want to see what type of bias y'all be on. Because y'all all said, yo, why Rick Ross ain't fighting with his guys? Well, why did Jay, why did Kendrick Lamar let J. Cole get his ass whipped by two different groups? And he got his ass whipped for for Kendrick. Oh, y'all don't talk about that. I get it. Because all these celebrities just in this one spot. It's a scuffle now. Huge scuffle. Why is J. Cole by himself? Where, where, where J. Cole at? Why is it Kendrick's responsibility to fight for J. Cole? Where's Drake, J. Cole people at? No, don't make no sense. Couple. So, uh, it's just weird with no names. I ain't gonna lie, Punch. Why you ain't hopping, bro? On some real shit. I know Kendrick wasn't in it, but y'all know what the energy was. The nigga was fighting because of the song Your Man Made. You ain't feel no no need to, to like hold him. Right, well, I guess you know. I, I guess he's like Kendrick, man. So it's like, nigga, if it's not Kendrick, why the fuck with a nigga that got prescription glasses? Oh my god! Oh, and look, shit. like he felt so bad after the whole thing. He was signed to. Him. He was signed to this dude who was, who was going at him. Yeah. His partner. His partner came to jump in because <laughs> he thought he was, they was going at his man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm surprised ain't nobody ran up on academics. Has anybody ever ran up on academics? Let me talk crazy. He must have got a lot of bodyguards by him. Anytime he go out, mm -hmm. let me talk crazy. Ain't nobody try to pull up on academics, or he or he just stay in the house all day. He don't come outside. Okay, so he just stay in the house, huh? <laughs> I'm like, man, I'm surprised ain't nobody test academics yet. Okay, he just stay in the house all day. I can see that. I can see that. I can see that. <laughs> Let me focus back on you, nigga. <laughs> they beat J. Cole's ass and ignored the fact that TD was in their deep. <laughs> By the way, I will say this with all due respect to TD. Puff gangster. Puff would have beat y'all niggas ass too. I ain't gonna hold you. Y'all in New York. I don't give a fuck about that West Coast shit. Y'all, this is when, when Control dropped? 2012, 2013. 2013, New York City. Puff. Yeah, Puff, Puff beating y'all niggas up. Not Puff himself, but like Puff rolling crazy. Like Puff Hold gonna get these to beat y'all the fuck up. In New York City. I'm gonna say, wrote the footage of his weak ass sparring. Who is? At? At got video out there of him boxing? Here he goes. Diddy wanted to check niggas about saying they were the king of New York. Everybody know Diddy's heavy New York. Kendrick is in the club and he's not talking shit. And he's the one made the song. So, so what do you want to say? Stop it. He's not like that, bro. Stop it. He's not like you're not. He, bro, P Puff was trying to slap Drake. Puff's, Puff body slam J. Cole trying to slap Drake. Nigga, he would have probably. Trying. It's crazy how you said trying. <clears throat> uh, didn't somebody pee on his leg? First of all, Drake got pissed on. Didn't, didn't, did he slap Drake? They talking about trying. No, nigga, he ain't try. Allegedly, I heard that he slapped that nigga and he and someone pissed on his leg. What you talking about? Slap Earth with the wind and fire out of Kendrick. He don't give a fuck about these niggas. Like with all due respect, Diddy that time is a different type of monster. This is this is prime freak off Diddy. Diddy has hit his peak. Super Saiyan five, baby, all out the pores. He's fucking Cassie with ten male prostitutes. Diddy. Oh, whoa, whoa. It's 2014. Whoa, what? With all, yo, I'm not saying this like anti, anti, anti Kendrick because I know sometimes I think I'm just. Diddy would have slapped. Diddy would have slapped the pigment out of Drake too. He would have slapped. He slapped J Cole. Trust me. He already did slap Drake at by this time. I think. I think that was around the time he slapped Drake too. He would have slapped the shade butter Twitter out of motherfucking Kendrick. Ain't nobody was fucking with, bro. Ain't nobody was fucking with Diddy back then, bro. Stop playing, bro. Kung Fu Kenny knew he needed to be silent when he was in the presence of Diddy that night, nigga. Stop playing. It's always the nigga that scream and yell the most. We just seen you play patty cake, nigga. 
We we just seen you play goddamn fast hands and all that shit. We we, we just seen you play patty cake. As a grown ass man in your thirties, you playing patty cake during the sparring match. Hey. Bro, y'all keep acting like Diddy. Bro, Diddy was on a trip. Bro, that nigga went to UCLA and hit the coach with a kettlebell. Yo, Playboy, what you mean my son not starting? What you mean my son garbage? Like a whole list. Yes. I'm, I'm just speaking on Diddy's gangster. I think back then, Diddy would have slapped all three of them back to back. Back to back to back. Drake, you take this. Kendra, come here, you bitch. Yo, J. Cole, let me just spit on you first. Yes! Pop a gangster. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. All these niggas, they're probably happy Diddy in jail. Diddy was slapping all these niggas, running these niggas, fucking their Well, not fucking their bitches, fucking their niggas. <laughs> but yeah, no, we gotta keep it a bean. <laughs> Yo, Ag. Yo, this is. Yo, what's wrong with this man, man? This man is upset. I'm upset. Damn, you upset, huh, Ag? Damn, calm down, brother. Damn, bro. Get some water. You ain't breathe. You ain't take a little sip of your water. Come on, take a little sip, man. I know you uh, dehydrated. I'll take a sip for you. God damn, brother. You gotta calm down. Bro, y'all ever heard the story of how Diddy stepped to, to Drake? Diddy yep. Drake. Exactly. Yeah. Um, Play that, nigga. This, I always heard it was a dislocated shoulder, but I heard it was security. I heard it was security. I, I don't know if he slapped Drake. I don't know yep. if he slapped Drake. Honestly. Nah, he, he slapped. But it was nigga. always told to me that Drake got a dislocated shoulder because security, like they got into it. Like Diddy tried to swing on him. Security jumped in, and Drake is like charged up, trying to like fucking get into it. And security yanks him, and his shoulder gets dislocated. But what I'm trying to say is that nigga Diddy didn't give a fuck. He was down to slap these niggas. Let's keep it up, pain.